Hello everyone! Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa exact differential equations. Ano nga ba ang isang exact differential equation given a differential equation na order 1 na ang form natin ay mdx plus ndy is equal to 0. Yung m ay yung function na kasama ni dx at yung n yung function na kasama ni dy. Then, ang isang differential equation daw ay exact kapag ka nasatisfy niya yung condition na yung partial derivative, eto nga pala, itong symbol na to it denotes partial derivative. The partial derivative of our function m, eto, with respect to y, is equal to the partial derivative ng ating n with respect to x. Kapag kakinuha natin sila and they are equal, then we can say that our differential equation is exact. And if our equation satisfy yung condition natin for exactness, we can say that the following are true for our solution f. Yung partial derivative ng ating solution ng differential equation with respect to x ay equal kay m at yung partial derivative din ng ating solution na f with respect to y is equal to n. Etong condition na to ay totoo kapag exact yung ating differential equation. So, crucial tong dalawa sa steps natin na ating gagawin pag solve ng solution ng isang differential equation. Remember, again, na kapag exact yung DE, yung partial derivative ng F, solution with respect to X ay equal dun sa ating M, at yung partial derivative ng ating solution na F with respect to Y ay equal dun sa ating N. With that, Let us test the exactness of some differential equations. For our first one, we have to test the exactness of 3x squared plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Again, if our differential equation is exact, dapat masatisfy niya itong condition na ito. Yung partial derivative nito ng m natin with respect to y ay dapat pareho dun sa partial derivative ng ating n with respect to x. From our differential equation, our m is equal to 3x squared plus y squared, and then yung n naman natin ay etong 2xy. Then kunin na natin yung partial derivative muna ng m with respect to y. Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative ng part na to, etong ating m. Getting its partial derivative, ititreat natin lahat ng x as constant. So for this part, 3x squared. Ang x natin ay constant, so kapag kinuha na natin siya ng derivative, this will become 0. Kasi the derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. So ang kuha na na lang natin ay si y squared. What is the derivative of y squared? That is just 2y. Then, for our partial derivative of n with respect to x, kuha na natin ang partial derivative naman, etong 2xy. Since with respect to x, ang value ng 2 tsaka ng y, we treat them as constant. Ang kukuhanan lang natin ng derivative ay si x. And then the derivative of x is just 1. So we have our 2y. Kung mapansin natin, pareho silang 2y. Since both our partial of m with respect to y and partial of n with respect to x are equal to 2y, dahil pareho sila, then our differential equation is indeed Exact. Then let us try one more. We have our x e raised to x y dx plus y e raised to x y dy is equal to zero. Same process as last time. Kunin mo na natin yung m natin. Our m is x e raised to x y and our n is y e raised to x y. Then getting the partial derivative of our m with respect to y. Kunin mo na natin yung dito sa part na to. We have our x e raised to x y. Since partial with respect to y, we treat x as a constant. So, ang kukuha na natin ng derivative ay si e raised to x y. Since this is e, kailangan natin kunin yung derivative nung nasa exponent. Derivative of x y with respect to y, constant si x, derivative of y is 1. Kaya matitira tayo ng 1. So, its derivative is x e raised to x y here. And then we simplify, we multiply them. Our partial of m with respect to y is x squared e raised to x y. That's it for this part. Punta naman tayo kay n. So again, kailangan natin kuna yung partial ni n with respect to x naman. So we have our y e raised to x y. Then 
partial with respect to x, y is a constant. Same here. Kapag kinuha na natin ng derivative, kunin natin yung nasa exponent. Kasi i siya. Then, getting its derivative, we have our x, y. Y is a constant. So, retain. Ang derivative ni x is just 1. So, ang matitira dito is just 1 times y. Kaya, y na din. So, this is y. Yung constant na nasa labas, kinonsider natin, times y e raised to x, y. And then, as we simplify this, this is y squared e raised to x, y. Ngayon, observe na natin yung dalawang nakuha natin. This is x squared e raised to x, y. This is y squared e raised to x, y. Yung partial ni m with respect to y ay hindi pareho sa partial ni n with respect to x. Since they are not the same, our differential equation is not exact. We have to look for other ways to solve this. Sa tingin ko, kaya siyang kunin using homogeneous equation. Pero itatest pa rin natin siya. So now, let us proceed with the steps. Ano ba yung kailangan natin gawin para makapag-solve tayo ng solution ng isang exact na differential equation? Una, we have to rewrite in the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Kung medyo magulo yung di natin, we have to arrange it in this form. Then kapag okay na, our step 2, itatest natin again yung exactness. Kailangan exact yung ating di. So, dapat masatisfy yung condition na to, and kapag ka nasatisfy natin yung condition na to, as we have discussed earlier, totoo na yung partial of f, again, yung f ay yung solution natin, partial of f with respect to x ay equal dun sa ating m, at yung partial of f with respect to y ay pareho dun sa ating n. This is true again kapag ang di natin ay nasatisfy yung condition ng exactness. And then, we can pick either dun sa dalawa. For this step, ang pipiliin natin ay si partial of f with respect to x is equal to m. Tapos, makakarating tayo dito by multiplying our equation by the partial of x. Then, kailangan natin isolve yung integral partially with respect to x, tapos ititrip natin si y as a constant. Normal na integration nitong part na to, kaso nga lang kay dx tayo, Tapos, yung y natin, kung meron mang y dito kay m, ititreat natin siya as a constant. Since we take the integral partially, yung value ng f natin, we can get it by the integral of df, galing tayo dito, is equal to the integral of m dx, and we will be adding a function of y which is p of y. Bakit tayo nagdagdag nito? Kasi again, we are treating y as a constant. Kapag ka na-solve na natin to, makukuha na natin yung value ng ating f. Kaso nga lang, meron pa tayong function of y dito. Eto, kaya na siyang isolve. Kaso, for our next steps, kailangan natin gumawa ng paraan para makuha natin yung value ng f of y. For our fourth step, gamit yung f natin na solution, we get the partial derivative with respect to y. Kapag ginawa natin yun, yung f of y natin magiging f prime of y. Ngayon, let us recall yung isa sa property ng exact equation, which is yung partial of f, yung solution natin with respect to y, is equal to n in the same way as nung pinili natin kanina na yung partial of f with respect to x is equal to m. Doing that, partial of f with respect to y is equal to n, yung value ng n natin, pwede na natin siyang equate. If we equate them, we will be arriving at the value ng phi prime of y solely as a function of y. Ang kagandahan nitong prosesong to, makukuha na natin yung value ng phi of y by taking the integral ng phi prime of y natin. Kasi again, function of y na lang siya. And as a last step, dahil nakuha na natin yung value nito, substitute na lang natin to dun sa value ng f natin kanina. And that is the solution of our exact differential equation. And as a final note, pwede nyong balik ta rin na ang kukuha ninyo sa first step natin ay partial of f with respect to y is equal to n. You will just interchange yung role ng x and y dun sa ating solution. Medyo mahaba yung process. Medyo mahirap siyang kuhanin sa umpisa, pero as we apply this, masasanay din tayo dun sa process ng pagkuha ng solution ng exact equations. Music